Hello PowerPoint users and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to create this beautiful infographic using PowerPoint. So let's get started. Before we start, let me introduce you to Free Slides website where you can download professionally designed PowerPoint templates for free. This website has thousands of premium slides which are fully editable in PowerPoint and Google Slides. I have personally reviewed few of these templates and all of them are designed using color schemes. Means changing the infographic color is super easy. They also have all the PNG icons and free fonts included in separate slides which is pretty good. And all of the objects are vector based for easy editing. Let me download one of their templates and as you can see, we have download option for Google slide and PowerPoint as well. Let's download the PowerPoint version and then open it up. As you can see, this template has many slides following one specific theme and at the end you will find the download links for free templates and PNG icons are included in dedicated slides. So in this video, let's see how to design this beautiful infographic from scratch. I have also provided the links for their official website and official YouTube channel in the video description below. Feel free to check out their awesome designs and support them if you like their work. So let's get started with our video tutorial. As usual, let's first enable the guides and then create reference lines for our design using the line shape. Draw it along the horizontal guide and then change its outline color and weight just for the sake of visibility. Now right click and then choose format shape. Go to size and property section and then rotate this shape by 36 degrees. 36 degrees because if you divide half circle into 5 equal sections, we get each section at 36 degrees. Align this line at the center of the slide and then duplicate it one more time using Ctrl plus D. Again go to size and property section and this time rotate it by under 36 degrees which is equal to total of 72 degrees. Again align this line centrally to slide and then duplicate it using Ctrl plus D. This time let's flip it horizontally and align centrally to slide. Similarly, duplicate this line one last time, flip it horizontally and align centrally to slide. So these four reference lines along with the horizontal guide will make five sections at the upper half of this slide. Next go to insert tab and then draw a partial circle through center of slide holding down Ctrl and Shift keys. Remove its outline and increase its transparency to see through. Now using the orange color edit points, adjust the partial circle shape to fit perfectly between the first section. Slightly increase its size by dragging it holding down Ctrl and Shift keys. Now duplicate this shape using Ctrl plus D. Place it on top of original shape and then rotate it by 36 degrees. Now again duplicate this shape using Ctrl plus D. Place it over the original shape and this time rotate it by 72 degrees. Similarly, duplicate this partial circle shape two more times, flip it horizontally and place it between the other two sections. That looks perfect. Now let's select all the reference lines and then delete them as we don't need them anymore. Now you can see there are some small gaps between each of these partial circle shapes. Just zoom in and try to fill up those gaps as far as possible. Next select all the pie sections and change their fill colors using eyedropper tool. Go to shadow section, apply outer shadow effect and then adjust the transparency and blur values. Now arrange all these pie sections one above the other in the clockwise direction. Next go to insert tab and then draw another partial circle shape through center of slide holding down Ctrl and shift keys. Using the edit points, adjust the shape to half a circle, remove its outline and increase its transparency to see through. Next select all the shapes holding down shift key and then fragment them together. This fragmenting of shapes will leave some small shapes behind. So let's select all the shapes. Right click and then cut them and then drag over to select all those small shapes. Delete all these unnecessary shapes and then paste back the required shapes onto the slide. Now let's select all the small pie sections and change their colors using eyedropper tool. 
Next go to insert tab and then draw a circle shape through center of slide holding down control and shift keys. Remove its outline and change its fill color to white. Next go to shadow section and apply outer shadow effect. Adjust the transparency and blur values as required. Now drag and select all the shapes and group them together. Reduce their size holding down control and shift keys and then place it as per the design requirement. Now duplicate this shape using ctrl plus D. Flip it vertically and align it along the original shape as shown. Now group both the sections. Adjust their size and align it as per the design requirement. Finally, ungroup both the sections and then let's create the house shape using rectangle and circle shapes. Let's first draw the rectangle shape. Adjust the size. Remove its outline and change its fill color using eyedropper tool. Draw another rounded rectangle shape. Make it completely rounded and then rotate it and place it over the rectangle shape. Remove its outline, change its fill color and increase its transparency to see through. Now duplicate this shape using Ctrl plus D, flip it horizontally and align both the shapes as our house roof. Next go to insert tab and then draw a triangle shape to fill the gap. Finally, select all the shapes and union them together. Let's draw few circle and rectangle shapes and then create sections like house door, windows and rooftop. Let me speed up to save time. That looks perfect. Next select all small pie sections holding down shift key and then change their fill color. As a final touch, let's draw two circle shapes at the back end of both the sections and then change their fill color to light grey. Finally, add all PNG icons and text fields onto our design. Let's speed up to save time. So here is the final preview. Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share and comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.